The Effects of Different Toothpaste and Toothbrushes on Coffee Stains Caroline Fuller, Jamestown High School Teeth are naturally white or off-white in color, but buildup from drinks such as coffee and tea over time can stain the enamel on your teeth, making them appear yellowish and discolored. The research conducted by this experiment will help provide information about what toothpaste are most effective at removing stains off of teeth, as well as what type of toothbrush is most effective. This data will help dentists and consumers by providing valid and helpful information. The research questions I had for this experiment are, is an electric toothbrush more effective than a manual brush? Which toothpaste is the most effective at removing stains? What toothbrush and toothpaste combination will give the best results? The variables of this experiment include electric versus manual brush, what type of toothpaste is used, and the length of brushing done on the egg. The procedure was the following. 16 cups of coffee were brewed by using a Cuisinart Extreme Brew Coffee Maker, 2 Melita coffee filters, 16 cups of tap water, and 16 tablespoons of Harris Teeter Breakfast Roast Ground Coffee. 3 fourths a cup of the hot coffee were poured into 21 red Solo cups. One egg was placed into each of the red Solo cups. The eggs were left to soak in the coffee for two hours. The eggs were removed from the coffee and placed into an egg carton. The 21 eggs were left to dry in the egg carton for one hour. The initial shade of the eggs were determined to have an initial shade of 10 on the reference shade guide. Two one by one inch squares were drawn on opposite sides of each egg with a black Sharpie. An E for an electric toothbrush was drawn on top of one square, and an M for a manual toothbrush was drawn on top of the other square on each one of the eggs. The eggs were divided into seven groups of three. Each group of three eggs were assigned a different type of toothpaste, water, or baking soda. The water, baking soda, and different toothpaste were all tested in the same identical manner. In each group of three eggs, a Colgate manual toothbrush was wet with water and used to brush within the square labeled with M using a quarter teaspoon of the test material for 30 seconds. This was repeated on each of the three eggs. A Sonicare electric toothbrush was wet with water and used to brush within the square labeled with an E using a quarter teaspoon of the test material for 30 seconds. This was repeated on each of the three eggs. Using the tooth shade guide, each of the 21 eggs were analyzed and given two numbered scores one for the manual brush and one for the electric brush. These scores were based on the shade interval change relative to the initial shade of 10 using the tooth shade guide. The three numbers were entered into a chart and averaged. The average numbers from the chart were placed into a bar graph. The results of the experiment were recorded. The only risk involved when conducting this experiment is potential burns from making the coffee. This is a chart where all the data from the experiment was entered into. Numbers correlate to the established numbered shade variations on provided tooth shade guide. All eggs started at shade number 10. E stands for electric brush and M stands for manual brush. This is a bar graph which displays all the average numbers from the chart on the previous slide. The shorter the bar, the more effective at removing stain. The results of the data show that using an electric toothbrush is always more effective than manual toothbrushes at removing stains. The data also shows that using baking soda and an electric toothbrush together is the most effective combination. Most people would think that whitening toothpaste would be the most effective. However, the data shows that baking soda is the best at removing stains off of teeth. There may be errors tied to the consistency of brushing performed during the procedure. There was some slight variation in stain removal recorded even within the same group of three eggs. The slight variation was accounted for by averaging three eggs instead of one egg. An uncontrolled event could be the difference in how the eggs were dyed by the coffee, causing the eggs to have slight variations in color. I concluded that using baking soda and an electric toothbrush to clean your teeth is the most effective way to remove stains from your teeth. Is an electric toothbrush more effective than a manual toothbrush? The results of the data prove that an electric brush is more effective. Which toothpaste is the most effective at removing stains? The results of the data showed that baking soda is the most effective. What toothbrush and toothpaste combination will give the best results? The results of my data concluded that baking soda and an electric toothbrush is the best combination. The results of the experiment supported my hypothesis that the electric toothbrush would be more effective than the manual brush. However, unlike my hypothesis, 
baking soda was shown as the most effective. Something that could be further looked into is the long-term effects of using baking soda as a stain remover for your teeth. A possible way of increasing the accuracy of the data would be by increasing the number of eggs tested within each group. These are the references that I used for coming up with this experiment. I would like to acknowledge my SNHS advisors, Mrs. Woodall and Mrs. Cosby, as well as Ross Fuller, DDS, who served as a consultant. Thank you.